Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. What's up, what's up? You want it, you got it. That's right, it's Winning Cures Everything. I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. <sighs> Let's play that sweet music. All right, all right. On today's show, we are talking about our favorite regular season win totals for college football. We are going to discuss our conference championship games, who we think is going to make it, who we think will actually win the conferences, along with the odds for that. Uh, and then we'll talk about college football playoff selections, who we think will make it before the season even begins. Uh, and I've actually got the odds for the teams that I've got in it as well. So, uh, the show... Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They have got six incredible sports books. You can find more information over at tunicatravel.com. I promise it's a good idea to go check it out for yourself. They're working on great things. Tunicatravel.com is the website. You can find us at winningcureseverything.com. All of our different social media platforms, right? YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, uh, Periscope, it, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, right? We're all over the place. But you can go to winningcureseverything.com and find all of that. If you would, subscribe, leave some comments, leave some nice reviews on Apple Podcasts. We would appreciate that. Now let's fire in. You ready for regular season win totals? Come on. I've got my 10. Our top 10 favorite regular season win totals for the 2019 college football season. We're going to roll through these. So go on and get your pen and paper ready, okay? First off, number one for me. Now, you you may have to search for these lines, but you should be shopping for lines anyway to find out the best odds. So I have found Syracuse over 7.5 at plus 145. That is my bet. I think that Syracuse wins 10 ball games this year. At worst, 8 or 9. That's easily over 7.5, and, and I'm getting plus money? Plus 145? Yeah, give me a break. Dino Babers is going over that. I'm making money all day with this one. I totally agree. I have the same bet. I'm going to give you that one now. Is yeah, Syracuse at uh, seven and a half games plus 145. I just believe in Dino Babers. He's going to win eight games. He's gotten that program to a different level now. Yes, and the ACC is still very soft. Yeah. Very top That's a heavy. a really nice way of saying Very soft. Coach. That's right. Uh, number two for me. The Hawaii Rainbow Warriors, over five and a half. Now, they are one of the uh, leaders in returning experience. I've got them over five and a half at minus 125. I understand that's a lot of juice, but I just, I don't see any way this team doesn't win at least six games. I've got them winning seven, possibly eight. They've got eight games on the island this year. Like, this is an experienced team they won what seven, eight games? No, they went eight and five last they won, year. Yeah, but say they won eight games last and year, and they lost basically nobody. So I'm all in on this. Hawaii over five and a half. Uh, I love what they're doing down there. Give me, give me the Rainbow Warriors. All right, my next bet is going to be Michigan. We both had them going twelve and zero. That was kind of strange. Yep, I, I was not expecting that from you. Um, I'm a big Jim Harbaugh believer. Uh, I like the. Uh, changes that have been made at offensive coordinator and the, some of the offensive personnel staff. Um, I think Shea Patterson's going to have his best year yet. I think that defense lost some guys, but it's just in a stage where they just reload. They continue to get better. This is the year they get the monkey off the back. I got them nine and a half, minus 160. Going to be laying some juice there, but I think they can go 12-0. and 0. I, I damn sure think they're going to be a 10-win team. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tell you. That was my next one as well. Jim Harbaugh cashing them checks for us. We appreciate you. All right, who you got next? Uh, next, uh, another one I think that we're both going to have is Northwestern. I got Northwestern. 100%. Six and a half wins over plus 110. Yeah. That's just ridiculous. This is, this is the Big Ten division winner. Yeah. Last year. The reigning West champion in the Big Ten. Now, they did lose three offensive linemen and et cetera, et cetera. But 
That doesn't bother me whatsoever. I think this is they, a tough they team. They lost those guys to graduating and not to the NFL. It, it's it's not like they were world beaters at that position. That's usually their weakest part. Yeah. And they really believe this year the guys replacing those dudes are better talented and stronger um, than they were. And, and that's one of the weaker positions that, that Northwestern's had for a while. Yes. I just, I just trust in Pat Fitzgerald. I just do. All right, so I, I've got the same thing. Northwestern over six and a We're half. We're going to roll you, through some of these. Believe that. Who you All got? right. I, I'm, we might I, knock I got, off some of this. I got Northwestern at plus 110. Yeah, I got them plus 110. Did yeah. I say that? I, I don't remember if we said the odds, but either way, plus 110 on Northwestern over six and a half. Texas A&M, okay. seven and a half games. I got the over on that. I think they're one of the best teams in the country. If they didn't have the schedule that they had, I, I might have them winning it all. Um, I really, really like this team a lot. I think Jimbo Fisher is poised and ready to rock and roll. Um, I got them seven and a half over, minus 150. Minus 150. All right. My next up, the Auburn Tigers. I've got them under seven and a half at plus 115. I love the odds here. Their schedule is ridiculous. They've got Georgia and Alabama at home. And then they've got Florida, LSU, and uh, who was the other? A and M. Oh, A and M. Um, yeah, on the road. And then they've got Oregon to start the season. So even if you are a pretty good team, like and remember, freshman quarterback. I've already talked about this, but even if you're a pretty good team, you could still go six and six against that team. Like if you're just a, if you're the number fifteen team in the country. You could go 0-5 or 0-6 against those teams. I think that they are going to go under 7.5, and, and I'm getting plus 115 on it. Give me that all day long. The Gus bus has caught fire. This is this is Gary being an, an Alabama Absolutely homer not. And, and just, just hating on Auburn. I, I'll go the other way on this one. We agree too much. We're not going to agree. One of my best bets of the year. Uh, an over that I'm taking is seven and a half over. I'm laying some juice. It's minus 145. I just think Auburn's going to win at least eight games. They're not going to go 0 and 6 against all of those teams, and they're not going to go 1 and 5 against all of them. They're not going to win them all, but they're not going to lose them all either. They're just too talented everywhere else, and the quarterbacks competing for that job are not just bums. They're not just guys rolling off the street. They're highly recruited freshmen. And Gus Malzahn is still one of the best offensive minds in all of college football. Next up for me, and we've got, what, five left each? I, I have right. Yeah, I believe we've got five left each. Now, I wasn't sure which way to go on this. At one book, I could get Oregon at minus uh, 150 to go over eight and a half. Okay. And then at the other book, I've got Oregon going over nine at plus 105. Is the half game worth all that juice? Let's see, here's the deal. At nine, like say they go nine and three, which is feasible, right? Then you would just push on one bet, but you would win on the other, but the minus 150 throws me off there. So the over eight and a half kind of tempts you a little bit. Screw it. I've got them going 11 and one this year. Give me that over nine in the plus 105. I am all over Oregon with this one. So if they uh, lose that Auburn game, Gary's going to tell you to take it up week one. I'm going to be pretty irritated. But here's the deal. I still push with nine. They got three losses in there. Okay. So I'm good with it. All right. Yeah, I'm going to be pretty mad if they. I'm, I'm coming home. <laughs> I'm coming home to our hometown, Memphis Tigers. I think this oh. team is going to be favored in all 12 football games that they play this year. Over under nine and a half. It's a big number. Yeah. Laying some juice, minus 150. I think they win 10 wins easy. I think this is one of the most talented Memphis Tiger teams we've seen in a long time. Rest, they lost some guys to the NFL. That's fine. They're skill position guys that they just become a machine replacing running backs and receivers. Yeah, I, It's just amazing. If you like offensive football, watch the Memphis Tigers. Tune in. They are a lot of fun. Mike Norvell is the man, and, uh, and I'm all over that team. My next up, I'm staying out in the Pac-12. Okay. The Utah Utes going over 8.5 at minus 150. Uh, this team, I think their defensive line, one, is nasty. And you rarely hear somebody like Kyle Whittingham talk about uh, how good his team is. 
and he has felt really good. They got a senior quarterback. They got skill players for days. They have got an offensive line and a defensive line that are just nasty. And I think they're going to destroy some people this year. I picked them also at 11 and 1. Now I'm getting them at over eight and a half. Hey, give me a break. I'm all over this. Uh, Utah, over eight and a half, minus 150. Book that thing. My next one up Michigan State. Michigan State is seven and a half. Now I am a better of coaches. Okay. I, I grew up with a, a great uncle that used to teach me about betting horses. He, he said he didn't care anything about the breeds. He doesn't follow any of the, he didn't care about any of that. It's all about the trainers and the jockeys. You always bet the jockey. In college football, I always bet coaches. Okay. In the pros, I bet coaches too. And, and they don't have a lot of offensive talent whatsoever. This might be the best defense in the country though. And I trust Mark D'Antonio. He's been there since 2007 and he is just longer than that. He had to be there longer than that, right? Let's see, D'Antonio, nope, 07. No, 07, that's it. Yep. Anyway, it feels like it's a lot longer than that. But I it's just still twelve years. I, I just trust I just trust the man. I can understand. And that. it's seven and a half over, minus one fifteen, not laying a lot of juice, standard juice, and minus one fifteen. I, I think there'll be eight wins pretty easily, and I do think there's a window that this team could get ten. Okay, okay. My next up, I'm moving out to the Mac. Ohio. The Bobcats, Mr. Frank Solich and his bunch, they got a senior quarterback. They got athletes. They got talent on the defensive line. Remember, they're defensive. I love Max. Ridiculous. I love it. Ohio, we both picked them to win 10 games this year. We did. We and yet, did. somehow, the line is seven and a half. We just see things a lot different than Vegas. Sometimes it's bad, all right? Sometimes that means they're going to take our money. Here's what I'm trying to figure out. Over seven and a half, and yet they were the... Second uh, best odds to win the conference behind Toledo. Now they play a lot of non conference. They play a lot of non conference games against Power Five schools. That I'm just thinking, there, there's probably some money on them not winning those games. I bet they're not going to be favored in any of those games. Well, no, no, no. But I think it's what two Power Five teams that they're playing. They're playing Pitt and somebody else. They play at Louisiana Lafayette. The Max tough. I mean, yeah, if they, and the Max if, tough. If you lose three games in conference and you lose two of those, you can still win the Mac. Yeah, you can still go seven and five. But remember, this team won eight games last year. Uh, and then won the no 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 they won nine games I they won, I'd say they won nine last yeah. year right so yeah I'm all over Ohio over seven and a half uh, it, minus one forty seems like a lot of no. juice but but for one of these when you're so betting bad. over under I don't bet sides laying that kind of juice ever but no. when you're when you're betting something like this it's it's totally different yeah I I feel good about Frank Solich getting to at least eight wins we bet coaches we like yep. Solich there you go all right Vanderbilt Commodores. I'm, I'm gonna do it to them, okay? I got the over under is man, at, Chris. the over under is at man. five, and I don't think they get into five this year. I I think this is one of those years where the SEC East has stepped up in class, and I don't know that they have matched that. I think at some point in time, Tennessee is just gonna get tired of losing this team, and they're a better program. I think Ole Miss has been beat up by this team, and I just don't think they're gonna continue to do it every year, and. I got them plus juice. I got plus 116 under five. I'm taking that. I can understand that. That makes sense. I mean, we both picked Vanderbilt at what, four and eight? Or you had them three and nine? I think I had them three and nine. Yeah. So I I could see it. I could absolutely see it. All right. My ninth, I've got another Pac-12 team. How are you at nine? I've got two left. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Because this is my ninth. The I next one will be like your ninth. You start it, and then I should finish. I should, yeah, okay. I got nine, then you'll do nine, then I'll do ten, then you'll do ten. You're right. I'm bad at math. Math is a wonderful thing, especially when you're gambling. I'm actually really good <laughs> at math. I'm just... All right, so next up for me, again, back out to the Pac-12. I'm going to Berkeley. I, I really like this coach. We disagree on this so much. But I'm going under five and a half on the Cal Golden Bears at plus 115. I think that this is the transition year, right? I do like their defense, but the way the schedule sets up and the way that this team looks, they are going to be dogs in like 10 of their 12 games. 
like the road trip out to Oxford in September is going to be that one worries rough. me because of the heat. But I'm t- but they've also got North Texas coming in over there with Mason Fine and that all that kind of. I'm telling you, this is going to be rough. Cal under five and a half. I've got them winning four games. Even if they won one more, that puts them at five. I still win the bet. Give me that plus one fifteen, baby. That's Let's crazy. go. That's crazy. <laughs> Coach Coach Wilcock just beat you with a rubber hose when he comes down to Oxford. It's, he needs to work on recruiting when he comes to Oxford. He might be. Boys Why do you think he signed that deal? That's so he can I'm, get to the South and, and, and start recruiting. All right, my ninth <laughs> pick. I did it last year. I don't usually get bit twice, but I'm going to get bit. I still am high on Jeremy Pruitt. Okay. I'm, I'm going back to the well with Tennessee. Last year, I picked him to win nine games. Yeah, I know. That was a lot. That was that was do you, a do you remember that was, my reaction. That was bold. I understood. Now hang on. <laughs> that wasn't just a pick. That was a bold prediction. So it's yeah. not supposed to happen. And if it happens, we should all be like, holy a, crap, I can't believe that happened. That was a hot take. All right. right. This year I think they should win nine. And I think that's more reasonable. Okay. They've they've improved a lot. Another year recruiting. They've changed the, you the think coaching staff. They're going staff. nine this year? I, I, well, that's what I picked in our things. Oh, I guess you well, did. anyway. Oh yeah, because I had the same reaction again. I, I got was like, you. What are you doing? I got the over under. But, but they're a better team this year than they were last year, right? We understand that. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. I think the I schedule's a little softer this year, too. And and they got a better offensive coordinator. That's what I'm saying. They've improved the coaching staff. Another year recruiting. Anyway, the number is six and a half. I'm going over, and you're laying a little bit of juice. It's minus 160. But I think this team's getting the seven wins. I mean, I might be off, but I'm not going to be that damn off. No, I wouldn't think so. Um, I think this team is going in the right direction, but they were so bad. Nine wins last year was ridiculous because they were so bad, but they're going in the right direction. Now, this is going to be one of those hard road to hoe things. Yeah. They might not meet nine this year either. Okay, I could easily be wrong on that, but I think they're getting to seven. Okay, okay, I can see that. All right, my number 10 bet, you can call this one homer bet if you want to. Okay. Alabama. Over ten and a half. Now it's minus one fifty, but this is like printing money. Alabama has not lost more than one regular season game since two thousand ten. Like we're talking 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Are you kidding me? With the schedule that they got right now? Oh yeah, the like, schedule helps you. That's what I'm saying. Line up all those cupcakes. Uh, I'm smart. going. I'm going over the ten and a half. Because at the worst, they either lose to Auburn or Texas A&M or LSU, one or the other, right? One of those three. But they'll lose to one of them. But they ain't going to lose to two of them. To two of them. You, do, you do only have three games on the schedule that matter. That's what I'm saying. And you got a bye week before all of them. Not all of them. Well, one of them's a high school team, so that's a bye <laughs> week. Anyway, we, we narrowed this thing down to, to 10. I have 16 written down that I wanted to pick from. Bama under was was one of my picks. But anyway, I digress. I'm going home as well. I'm going to be a homer also. LSU, I got eight and a half wins. This might be the most talented LSU team that we've seen in a decade. Over eight and a half? Eight and a half, bet US. Wow. Now, now, you're laying, now some, still, you're laying still, some juice. Just because we said that, still go down to Tunica and make your bets. But, well, I mean, I had to find a line somewhere. Yeah, Tunica don't the have the lines out right now. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, they do just anyway in the book. you got to go dig for it. But, yes. You're laying some juice. It's minus 180. What you got about minus? Oh, that's. But I think it's free money. I mean, you're, you're laying big juice, but this team's getting the nine wins. This might be the, the most offensively talented team that, that they've had since Odell, Jarvis, um, and, and those guys, but they got a quarterback now that they didn't have back then, and uh, and and maybe ha- have not had in I don't know in quite some time fifteen twenty years. Yeah, um, no, I'm I'm with you. I'm I, with you. I like I, this team. I, I know sometimes the big heavy juice is hard to lay, especially waiting all year for it. But I think I just think some of these numbers but, are off. Yeah, when when you when you collect at the end, all you're doing is collecting money. Yeah, and that's what we're trying to help yeah, you out with. We're trying cash, to help you cash in the ticket. We're trying to help you collect some money. 
Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.